Paramount has rebooted Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we've got Justin Chang here to tell us what he thought. So the funny thing I got from your review was not a travesty. Not a travesty. To, uh, some, to my shock, actually. Especially okay. this is Hollywood in the month of August. Not a travesty is, is an achievement. But also I think it's because of the involvement of Michael Bay, who, you know, coming off just one of the most nauseating movies of the summer, if not the year, with Transformers Age of Extinction. He produced this one, he did not direct it. It was directed by Jonathan Liebsman, who did Wrath of the Titans and Battle Los Angeles. But was this a Michael Bay movie? I would say it is, but not quite so toxic as that might imply. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are not some sacrosanct cultural object to me, but they are very appealing, and it's a ridiculous, goofy concept that has endured for about 30 years now. We're well, mutants. Well, technically we're turtles. Oh, and we're teenagers. But we can still have adult conversations. Ah. They've basically given us a very back to basics origin story. Uh, the story of how, you know, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo meet reporter April O'Neil and defeat the Shredder and... Um, and Justin, yes. wait a second. <laughs> Who cares about the story? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, the fans care about the story, and I say this as a as a, sem a semi fan as well. The, the original 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, live action feature was kind of one of the first movies I remember going to see in the theater at the mm -hmm. age of seven. What this movie offers is more or less the same story, uh, much simplified, but done in a very CGI, motion capture enhanced way. But is this a better iteration of this franchise than we've seen in the movies before? I wouldn't say so. And I mean, this is a property that, whose best iteration I think has generally been on TV, you know, as the, the Saturday morning cartoon. Nothing in this movie is meant to be taken too seriously. It doesn't take itself too seriously. That is a virtue. There's this one ludicrous sequence too, where it's like involves a truck and several cars and the turtles skiing on their shells down a very steep slope. And you're just, there's a certain point where you just throw up your hands and say, this is ridiculous, this makes no sense. And it's actually here and there kind of fun. 